Partick Thistle versus Celtic, 23rd of October, 1971. Celtic kicking off, attacking the goal on the right in the final of the Scottish League. Welcome to my match memories. Today we're in Mary Hill, most famous for Charles Rennie McIntosh, the tall ship, still game, and this place. Partick Thistle have Ruff Hansen and Forsyth, Glavin, Campbell and Strachan, McQuaid and Colston, Bone, Ray and Laurie. The John Gibson is the Partick Thistle son. Today I'm going to take you back almost 50 years where we will relive the day of a then 13 year old Robert Boyd. So without further ado, let's travel back in time, open up Robert's mind and explore his match memories of the 23rd of October 1971. I remember waking up being very excited about the game and I was only 13 at the time. In my eyes, Thistle were going to win it anyway. So we got the train into town, went to a cafe and had some chips and juice. And I always remember we got on the, the train at Central Station to go to Mount Florida. And my dad just pulled me aside and says, Look, son, don't forget there's half your Lisbon Lions in his Celtic team. Just to keep my feet in the ground. 30 seconds later, I was back in singing, jump, jumping up and down, right into the atmosphere. And who could have believed what the score was going to be? Well, I remember every goal. Uh, Ray, Laurie, McQuaid and Bowen, the fourth and last goal. He pretty much walked into the net and I swear he had his eyes shut when he kicked it to score the goal. Taken by Laurie, in comes Bowen. That is one of those lifetime memories I'll never ever forget. That was great, just me standing in front of my dad screaming as the goals went in and couldn't believe it, just could not believe the score as, as probably every football fan in Glasgow felt the same way when I heard the score. Uh, there was always a lot of very, very good memories, very close memories, but that was certainly a, a father-son memory if I put it that way. You know, it's one I'll never forget, as I say, and uh, even just doing this at the moment with you, it just brings all those memories flooding back. Uh, my toes and fingers are actually tingling at the moment, just just thinking about it, and the loving relationship I had with my dad, and uh, for how, for how, for thrills, as many games that we lost, but that one game was extra special, extra special. But I've experienced it with my dad, and. Unfortunately, who is to know what was to come in three years' time? It just makes me cherish it all the more. And it's all over, and it's the first cup. Celtic, sporting losers, handshakes all round. A magnificent performance by Thistle, who finally, once and for all and emphatically, have put paid to the unpredictable tag. And you can hear the whole of Hamden rising to Thistle, Celtic supporters applauding as well, I can see them from here. And this has been a once in a lifetime day for those Thistle supporters who waited so long. With memories and experiences shared of the biggest League Cup final upset in Scottish football history. And believe me, you always trust a Boyd. of rain that falls a flower grows I believe that somewhere in the darkest night a candle glows I believe for everyone who goes astray someone will come to show the way Above the storm, the smallest prayer will still be heard. I believe that someone in the great somewhere hears every word. 